I told somebody in a comment this weekend that I regret every point that I invested into Aurora. Every point. Given how easy she is to counter with low investment in heroes. With low investment into specific heroes. Only, it's only game. Why you have to be mad? And this really all boils down to the kind of the next thing that I want to roll into. The two types of players. I... The, the, something something happened over the weekend. I I, uh, I let people get the better of me sometimes, and, and we're going to talk about this in a second. But I am tired. I am tired of a specific conversation, a very very specific conversation. It, it's some variant of this. Sebastian is the best tank. Or I'm sorry, the best uh, the best hero in the game, and changes everything. That's part of the conversation. The second part of the conversation is Aurora is the best tank in the game, and high end players use. Aurora. And if you don't use Aurora, you're wrong. Okay. And then the third conver the third piece of the conversation is you don't know any better because you're not a high level player and all you can do is max testing. These are the three parts of the conversation that I'm I'm really tired of having. I'm really really tired of having. And this was brought on by my uh, my Corvus video from like 2 weeks ago where I was I was suggesting people level up Corvus as a, uh, as, a, a, as a high potential tank for 2022. Corvus's totem specifically is very strong against a large number of heroes. So here's my ask, guys, here's my ask. I need a player with a very, very high level Aurora Sebastian Twin Celeste team. I need somebody to challenge me on my Facebook account and with whatever whatever the pets are, I, I don't I don't I don't know for sure exactly what they are. Manual mode and current stats because I want to see, I want to see just how effective like a 40k power judge is at countering Sebastian. I want to see how well a 40k, 50k power Phobos is at countering Sebastian. I want to see how strong a 40k Iris is at countering Aurora. I'm curious. I'm curious exactly what I need to have invested in these counter heroes in order to defeat the best tank and the best hero overall. These are conversations with people that don't understand that the basis of the game is not to be the best, but to be the best strategist. Small brain thinker is not a fight with them. No, it's not a fight that I'm trying to pick or or win rods to reels. I'm, I'm more trying it for my own account, for what I have leveled, where I need to go with it. That's the hard part. How far do you need to go with these support counter heroes to make them truly effective? So if this is the best team, which nobody's saying that this team is the best team. This is just a team that I'm tired of seeing thrown around as the reason why you shouldn't level any other tank aside from Aurora. And because of Sebastian, this hero sucks. Because of Sebastian, this hero sucks. Because of Sebastian here, this hero sucks. Because, because by the way, this fight right here is what inspired me to want to to want to look into this. Because the enemy has a Sebastian. The, uh, the enemy has a Sebastian there. And the only, well, I guess, I guess there are technically a couple here. You have Arachne that does stuns. You have Heidi that does some kind of uh, blind, right? And then you do Faceless that does stuns. And only one of Amira's abilities can be reduced by Sebastian. You don't have the traditional Sebastian counters in this lineup. Yet, this, this Sebastian, this enemy lineup is stunned. In fact, I'm going to go find this video. So this is Olympus's video. Uh, Hero Wars, Amira, new hero. Here we go. So this is that lineup right there. This is that lineup that I was just showing you. So let's watch this fight. And you tell me how much Sebastian is actually countering these debuff heroes. How effective is this maxed out Sebastian? So there's the first handful of stuns. And then here comes more stuns and more stuns. This this enemy team is stun locked. This defending team is completely shut down. Stunned, 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 stunned. Still going. Look at how long this stun is. Now maybe this is the strength of Arachne, right? Maybe this is just showing us how strong Arachne is. And at this point, it doesn't matter. Dante is dead. What else do you have? You have two support heroes in Isaac and Sebastian. You have a tank and a healer. Let's see. I've got a 29K Phobos. I've got a 30K almost Phobos. I would love to see if my Phobos is good enough to counter that Sebastian, you know? And this is gonna lead into the the, the reason why I'm having this uh, this discussion. So this Corvus, this Corvus video, Right, it got a lot of people sending me messages about why he's not the the best tank. And over the weekend, yesterday and the day before, we had a very a very interesting interaction on the general channel of my Discord with an individual that swears up and down that Corvus is uh, is nerfed. the The main people that keep people keep throwing at is is that no, Corvus is not because he's too flimsy. Right, he's easy to kill. Well, that's 
of, of course everybody every tank is easy to kill right every every tank every tank so the the point of the video isn't is not for the top one percent it's not for the top 100 players in the world it's not for those people those people don't watch my video right my videos are for players that are having to deal with counter heroes that are effective in the 30 and 40k the average player i would bet you I would bet you that 99% of Hero Wars players across all versions of the game will never max a hero. 99% or higher players will never max a single hero. And to have a conversation like, yeah, but Amira or Aurora is the is the best tank at in-game, and in order to win in Guild Wars at in-game, you have to have Aurora. A maxed out Aurora, okay, a maxed out Aurora versus a partially leveled aurora counter is going to crush that aurora counter right the aurora is going to win you need to level up the aurora counter a little bit the aurora counter is going to got to get leveled up a little bit in order to successfully counter the aurora so if you leveled up the aurora counter to max which is a low priority compared to other heroes that you might have chosen for your team or because it's a new hero or because you just don't want to level that hero it ends up making a hero like aurora artificially better than you think they are and i'm not here to say that aurora is a bad tank i think aurora is a fantastic tank easily one of the best tanks that there is easily but a maxed out hero compared to a hero like um let's choose i, I don't know like uh like osha osha is working on the kraken in chapter 10. do you think osha who's working on the Kraken in chapter 10 is going to have more trouble with a 30k or 40k Aurora counter or a maxed Aurora counter. Which one does she need to worry about more? Like the average player isn't going up against players that have 20, 30 maxed heroes. The average player, the difference in power level of the average player and the counter and, and, and the counter hero that you need to level up is much smaller than those high end players that are playing for the same they're playing for the same golden guild war trophies that we are sure but just because you're playing for them on server one or server five or server 10 doesn't mean that the golden guild war trophy is on server 50 or 100 or any better or worse after five years i only have one hero maxed out as long as you don't count ascension ascension added a whole a whole nother level of cost to it but you, do you guys see the point that i'm trying to make like, is this, is this just all in my head? Like players that are worried about, like all of us, all of us should be worried about, you know, what the ultimate strength of a hero is going to be. Like is, is Yasmin at high levels a good enough damage dealer? Is my Astaroth at high levels a good enough tank? Well, a lot of people would say that Astaroth is one of the worst tanks in the game at high levels on all versions of the game. Personally, I don't care. I enjoy Astaroth. I enjoy him being my tank. Like I know that his ultimate sucks compared to other heroes ultimates. You know, he's brought along for an easily countered handful of abilities, but right, he's got high health. He does he does the tank thing, right? He, he tanks okay for the people that I go up against and I'm enjoying it. I'm winning the fights that I'm supposed to be winning and losing the fights that I'm supposed to be losing. I personally enjoy trying to beat the enemy team with weaker teams, it's more gratifying. So the whole point of my YouTube channel is geared towards the average player, newer and average players right and a lot of you that are better than me or more advanced than i am just hang around because you know you, you you join me struggling at math or or whatever so this argument that at high levels if you want to win guild wars you have to level aurora or at high levels nobody is using corvus is the real the real the real thing that set me off is this individual on my discord telling me that at high levels they you know they get it in their head that corvus just isn't that good at high levels nobody on my server uses this there's been a 12 percent drop in corvus usage on my server. like where do you get that number 12 percent drop like come on don't don't be silly don't be silly corvus with the correct backup will wreck every team you could say that for literally every tank in the game except for maybe chava <laughs> uh let's see r2 i remember when astaroth was supposedly better tank of the game and now he's not as shiny but still does the job i think he does a great job I think he does a great job, R2. Astaroth is not a good defense hero with Iris. GG, uh, I'm here to tell you that no tank is a good defense hero with Iris. Dragon says, I must admit, Corvus is a tougher cookie than everyone gives him credit for. So this is, th this is a great discussion. I, I like this. Everyone on my server uses Corvus as Cinder. I love it. Just have to find a counter to the Trinity meta and you'll win at all, all I guess. Yeah. Oh, that's it. Nobody uses the Trinity on my, like nobody uses. Nobody uses that lineup on my server. Like it's such a dumb thing to say that like, look, look, 
This is defense, right? And, you know, defense in arena is one thing. But nobody uses the twins. Nobody uses the twins on my server. Nobody. Nobody uses the twins on my server. <laughs> oh, here's... Okay, here's the 10 rank that uses the twins. Oh, there you go. There you go. Aurora, Celeste, Sebastian. Boom. There you go. Maybe I should message Andrew. Maybe I should message Andrew and have him attack me. <laughs> Everyone on my server uses Yasmin. Curse them. Ha. I dare to say that even Chaba has some advantages over Aurora. I don't know how low level Aurora can counter Chaba, but I know Chaba has some chances against Corvus. Okay. Ben says mine is all Kark and Dante. Galad is popular in top 15 on my server. That's that's so wild, right? The like so I you know and, and that kind of leads into this whole idea that maybe you know maybe you're just maybe you're just blind you know to to the things on your server. I've got a tremendous amount of like. Ching Mao Celeste Ginger teams with Galahad Tank on my server. Uh, you're all top players use twins or Kark teams. Now almost no one days and they use all Dante and Arachne Dante. Six months from now, it will be different. I told somebody in a comment this weekend that I regret every point that I invested into Aurora. Every point, given how easy she is to counter with low investment in heroes, with low investment into specific heroes. But that's how it is with everybody. Server metas. My server has all variants of KSJ. I don't see KSJ at all on my server. Every server has some specific heroes they use a lot. Mine is a ton of Anvari tanks. David Denial's got it right there. The reason might be that there is no cross server that everybody... Yeah, that's and that's really what it boils down to. It's like your, gold, your, your golden guild or trophies mean the same as mine do. 25 servers higher. <laughs>